Hey, Trigger Nation, it's Chad Ward, Whiskey Bit Barbecue, and today we're gonna talk about wet brine. So let's get started. All right, so now we're gonna go and start with our dry ingredients. So we've got our salt, brown sugar, oranges. I love citrus and uh, aromatics in your brine, so we're gonna get these in there. And then some pepper, peppercorns and some bay leaves. And we're just gonna take our spoon, mix this up. Uh, what we're wanting is we're wanting the sugar and the salt to dissolve, all the flavors to meld together. Uh, once this gets up to a boil, we're gonna pull it off the heat, let it cool down, and then once it's cooled down, we'll go ahead and put our chicken in it. Now that we have our brine all married together, we're gonna be able to take and put our chicken in it. We cooled this down. Uh, one thing to remember when you're building this brine, if there's other flavors that you really like, like if you wanted to add some lime, some different uh, citrus like that, feel free to. One of my favorites is uh, not just for chicken, but I like to do a mojo brine uh, for pork. It's really delicious. It kind of gives you that Cuban uh, flavor. So remember, you can kind of go wherever you want to go with it. The main thing with the brine is to make sure you have enough salt to create that osmosis process that brings that flavor into the meat. All right, so let's nice and cool down here. And so now we can just take, place our chicken in the brine. And now we're gonna cover that and uh, put it in the fridge. We're gonna let it sit for an hour a pound. Let all that brine work in there. And uh, then we're gonna pull it out, pat it off, and it's gonna be ready to cook. 